Genesis 12. Hey, yeah. The one, the one you are sitting next to, Wamatiba. Ruriganit. Kopelalim Mujisor Gimang. You know the one sitting next to you. Genesis number 12, that's where we are. Um, can we read verse number 1? Okay, let's start verse number 2 to save time. There's another, and I will so make there's another one who just came and we don't know her. He's with Mr. Letswalo there. Who's the lady with you? <laughs> oh, Machi God. Oh, yes. All right. Can we read, please? And I will make you a great nation. Yo. And I will bless you and make your Shh. name great. Wait, 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 wait. I will make you into a great nation. This is God talking to Abraham. And he says, I, the Lord, will make you into a great nation. And I will do what after that? I, I will, will bless you. Bless you. The next line. I will make your name great. Yes. And you shall be a blessing. So I want to talk about being a blessing. Because usually we talk about us being blessed and receiving blessings. And we don't understand or there is a difference between being blessed and being a blessing. And I want to tell you that the intention of God concerning your life is not to bless you for yourself. But the intention of God to bless you is to make you a blessing. In fact, we need to change our prayers from bless me to make me a blessing. Remember, when you are blessed, you have things for yourself. When you are a blessing, you are the thing that people are praying for. In fact, all of us here came here because January, Renyakambudim are a blessing. But did you know that you can become a blessing that somebody is praying for in January, the whole 21 days? Did you know that? That when God is praying for divine connection, I rawen. When a person is praying for a blessing of someone, a friendship, whatever it is, because it is possible to move from a place of Lord give me to a place where you say, what can I give? Those are levels. There are people who are at a level that says, Lord, me, don't you see me? Can't you give me? And there are people who are at a level of saying, Lord, here I am. What do you want me to do? Send me where you want to send me. Speak through me what you want to speak. Do through me that which you want to do. And God is saying, I am going to bless you. And that verse doesn't end there. Because you must be a blessing, I will make you a blessing. And he goes on to say, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. There is something higher than just being blessed. Now I've seen people who have everything, but who are never a blessing to anyone. And I've also seen people who don't have everything, but they are a blessing to everyone. There are people who don't have everything, but they are a blessing to a lot of people. Yourself must just be a blessing. When people look at you, they must see a blessing. When they talk to you, they must talk to a blessing. This January, I prayed for a miracle. He gave me more. And God is talking to Abraham. Abraham, I am going to bless you, of course. But I want to make you a blessing. And this is another level. And it's true. You look at the life of Abraham. He became a blessing even to us to this day. Because from that day, his children were blessed, and his children's children were blessed. And that's why Pharaoh of Abraham's blessings are mine. Israel was blessed because of him. He became a blessing. Lord, I want to be a blessing. 
This year, I want to be a blessing. I've gone past praying for a car. No, I want to be a blessing. Do you know that you can be a blessing? Do you know that you can be a blessing? Do you know that? People tend to think what's working is everything. It's not everything. When God gives you a house, he's testing you to see if you can be a channel of blessings. It is not the intention of God to go around making dams of people. God wants to make channels of blessings that when he gives you this thing, it will pass to other people. Somebody speak and say, Lord, make me one. I want to be a blessing. I can't hear you, let's low. Say, Lord, make me one. I want to be a blessing. Yes, I want to be. Shout and say, I want to be a blessing. I can't hear you say, make me a blessing. In the name of Jesus. Now, here is a beautiful thing. Once you become a blessing, you will never lack anything. The problem is that we want everything for ourselves. It's all about me, myself and I. Even when I came, there's nothing wrong with that. Hear me well. This and that. You can be a solution to their problems. And God is saying, I'm turning you into the solution. I'm turning you into a problem solver. I'm turning you into that prayer thing that people are praying for. Well, if I can get this, and that's what God is telling you. And if you can become a blessing, how can you be dry when you are a blessing? How can you be dry when you are a channel? God will always supply blessings through you because you are a channel. The day you make things about yourself, that's the day you stop flourishing. And the day you stop being a blessing. The Salon Abanavis. And how do I become a blessing? And where can I be a blessing? Number one, you must be a blessing to your own family. Yeah. If you are married, be a blessing also to your in-laws. Yeah. Be a blessing to what? Your family. Yeah. Be a blessing to what? To your in-laws if you are married. Let things come together when you are there. May you be that guy or that lady that they can't do anything before they call because they know once you come, things will come together. The temptation is, these people are using me. If I'm not there, they don't do anything. Ah, relax. God has given you what he has given you because he knows that you are a channel. You are never a dam. I have learned something. When you go to Christmas parties, Christmas homes, whatever, and people come and this person always comes empty-handed. And he's also working. And when they buy food, this person is eating more than every. Don't be like that. Be a blessing. When you come, everything is coming together because you have arrived. Touch your neighbor and say, they are preaching about you. Ngam. Be a blessing. Be a channel of blessing. What am I saying to your family? When God wants to bless your family, let him look for a channel that he can use. May you be that channel. May you never look to the left or to the right. May you be that man, that woman that God will say, I want to bless this family, but I'm going to use this faithful servant. And what he's going to do, he will pour out blessings upon you because he knows when you get home, you become a blessing to your family. There are people who can become blessings to everybody else except their own families. Be a blessing. If you are married and you know these people, be a blessing to them. Sometimes, 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 be a blessing to that family. Don't care about what they say about you because it is the duty of God to make you a channel. Once you start saying they don't like me, they don't like my food, they don't like you, stop flourishing in your own life. Be a blessing. Tell your neighbor and say they are talking about you. Be a blessing. Hey, problem. The whole year, make him make her feel good. 
I tomorrow, Mama, what else do you need? Ask her to tell her jail, Mama, to jail. I will teach you how we eat jail. Teach my go go to eat fork and knife. Just be a blessing that when you are there, they will miss you and say, if my daughter or my son can come here, I know everything will come together. Don't be a trouble when you get there. And that's why you are not clapping. I'm preaching about you. Be a blessing to that family. And this year, be a blessing. I will tell you the truth. If you want to look for faults, you will find them. They are there, a lot of them. But you can choose to be a blessing. Sometimes when you are there, take all these nephews and what what, and just take them to buy ice cream. Madam communicating man, take them to buy ice cream. Buy banyaka some more. We wreck. Be a blessing. It's just a day or two days or three days. Don't get there. You are looking for somebody who did not do what. Why didn't you pass at school? Just be a blessing. The reason why God has given you a car in that family, He knows that when you are there, they will not be stranded. Be a blessing to that family. I'm talking to you. God wants to give you more. But once you become a dam, you are stopping the flow of the goodness of God. Be that channel. I want to be the one. If God wants somebody to own an aeroplane in my family, let me be the one. Because once I have an aeroplane, go back. Be that channel that God wants to use. I'm talking to you and how be a blessing to your family because he wants to bless you. If you hear me wave and say, I'm the one, this year I am the one. I will be a blessing to my own family. Yo. I thought that. You can also be a blessing to this church. Is it possible? You can be a blessing to this church. Maybe let me note two things. This Katagadi Mesa. Be a blessing to this church. You see. There are ways in which you can become a blessing to this church. One of them, give us money. Hey, kagwagi just teeth or so. Banabaka worship team. I will tell you the truth. One of the secrets of financial breakthrough lies in your money. The little that you have. You cannot commit to any church that you can't give to. The true commitment, Rebona Mozage. Aribonika, hey, 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 Rebona Mo. Okor Amen El Nayate, Wakilitiba Niso. You can live here, what's an atropo, what's a my what's an somewhere. You can't be a blessing to a church. You will handle and catch a little house. If you want to be a blessing to a church, give money to that church. Is that difficult? When I had a prayer, I had a You can't be a blessing to us when you are withholding your money. In fact, now I'll tell you the truth. I feel like I'm going to be when a person gives money to church, they always have more to give to that particular church and even to other people. Okay. I've never seen a giver who's always stranded on a shelter transport. If you want to be a blessing to this church, give us what? Money. You give money to church. And please, wait a minute about blessings. I'm saying do what? Give money to church. Because we believe in this cause. When you believe in anything, you give to it. And that's what I understand. If you believe in... How do you know what you say? 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 How do you know what you say to this church? So, you can be a blessing. I listen to you. 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 To be a blessing to a church, give us money. 
You know, I went to, I went to a, a meeting yesterday, and in that meeting they were checking what church is doing what, what church is doing what, and I realized that by the grace of the Lord we did well, and I don't want to compare with anyone, but we did so well. In the past five years we never dropped in all areas of our lives, all areas of this church, and we kept on going higher and higher and higher, higher, like higher, you know, I mean higher. And I realized that you, this thing of us growing, even financially, is just certain specific people who are consistent. And not because they have money. They are just consistent and they believe in the cause. You can't be with us. Bring money to the house if you believe to, in the house. I am honest. You can't be a blessing to us when you don't bring your money to church. Two, yeah. be a blessing to this church by bringing and using your gifts and talents. You can be a blessing in this church through your own talents and your gifts. When all of our two are gifted in many other areas, yeah, beyond the scope that we have, murdering, trustees and departments, you are just gifted in your own way. Bring that talent to God and, and use it to glorify God. When you do that, you become a blessing in the house. There are people who bring their talents for themselves just to come and shine here. But there are people who are bringing their talent to glorify God in the house. And I'm saying to you, bring your talent to glorify God. You can also be a blessing to us. Touch your neighbor and say, you can be a blessing to me as well. By using your talent and your gift. You can be a blessing to this church by inviting people to this church. Evan, Evan. There is a lady. Where is that lady? My sister, Shela. Shela. Can you stand? Please stand. Shela, Shela came here. When did you start coming? You came on Monday. Monday. How she heard about the church, she realized the one I was talking about who had somebody talking in the taxi, telling people about how powerful that church is and all of that. And she overheard. And she decided, I'm going to that church. Same day, on that Monday. And she came and she even got saved that particular day. Somebody was proud about their own church. There are people in this church who will never ever talk about their own church. Never, never. They will never... The way you can support this work is by talking about your church. Good about your church. Don't act like we're not busy at the church. Talk about your church. We have a conference. It's a soul winning. Tell people about your church. Because they've got people who are talking about their, their things that they are doing there. Recruiting people. They are sending people messages everywhere. They are if you believe in this church, the best way to support it, talk about it. There are people in this church who are forever on Facebook, they will never talk about their church. They can rather share a joke Yamoto Abulela against God. They would rather share a gay and a lesbian. They will never share a sermon of their own church. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, they are talking about you. You are misplaced. If you believe in this church, support it. Amen. I do understand. Let me give you number four, number five. If you believe in this church and you want to support it, listen to this. Submit in style and smile. I'll tell you what I mean by that. Submit in what? In style and smile. More utlota na mo and ukramo tuki ashara mo minyako. Or can you please come and sit here? Test yama tomo ya new. Uba ni mutwaro. I can't sit there. I will sit here. Witchcraft in church. Because the best you should do, who understand that whoever that is standing at the door. So I rather sit on this chair. You must just submit in style and what? Smile. If they say don't pack there, pack this side. Submit in style and what? And smile. Because if you feel you want to sit somewhere and that's your preference. 
can't you share it nicely with them? Rather than showing them, Pela di asharan kila mampu cawar ya, batu mama bawa ima. Yer, una le mang mang le mang mang le mang mang le mang mang. Bana le ditulo jabo, na you don't tell them what to do. Ne? So can't you, the best thing to do is to say to them, okay, I, I would prefer to sit there if it's okay. Not in a rude way that says, I can't be told by you. So why are they standing there? Kisalmo Tero. Touch your neighbor and say submit in style. In Jesus' name. And do what? Number what what? Refuse to be a troublemaker in the church. Pana, uskaba wena was spread and it taba chakereke how? You know na leba tuangu baba ring banyo ko ruba twiso spread and it taba but have you have you seen this? Have you heard this? They are very calm, but that thing is still wicked because the idea is to spread the fire around somebody here or someone who did something. Can't if you are a true steward of the church, you see somebody doing wrong. The best you can do is to go to them and say, "Kiwana udia one two three, this is not good," and let it end between the two of you. Why do you then call other people and say, "Udile one two three, Udre, you are spreading the fire. You want to actually destroy the church. In fact, you are an agent of the devil." who is working against the progress of the church. Because whatever you are spreading about another sister or another brother, what you are doing, you are causing division in the house. But when you love the house, we are not saying defend what is wrong. No. We are saying confront it with love. Talk to the relevant person. Address it with that person. Finish it there. Don't be a troublemaker in the church. Can I take the last one? Be a blessing to God. Can you be a blessing to God? I never thought we can be a blessing to God. But the word of God says, bless the Lord, oh my soul. So you can be a blessing to God. How do I become a blessing to God? By simply being obedient to him and doing that which glorifies him. Barnabas, there are things that we do that glorify us. But there are things that we do that glorify him. And if you want to be a blessing to God, do the things that make the things that glorify him. If you ask yourself for out of 10 things that I did today, that glorify God. But the rest, they glorify us. They boost our egos. They boost how we live life with other people. But glorify God. When you glorify God, you are a blessing to him. And you can be a blessing to him. And I want to talk about this one. Kishore Mongas Kredi. Amen. One of the ways of being a blessing to God is by giving your tithe. Not a blessing to church. I spoke about church. Now I'm talking about God. By giving what? Your tithe. Touch your neighbor and say, buckle up. It's not going to be easy. I, I, need to, I need to talk about this. Tithe existed before the law. One. We agree, ne? In Genesis 14, verse 18. It existed when? 430 years before the law. Started by who? Abraham. Two. Tithe existed in the law. During the law. According to Leviticus 27, verse 8. Where God gave an instruction during the law. Or tithe must be given. Three, tithe existed during the time of the prophets. Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. During the prophetic time. Four, tithe existed and still exists during the time of the gospels. Now I want us to read one verse to clear confusion. That is everywhere about issue of tithe. Matthew 23 verse 23. Are you listening Old Testament? Read Matthew 23 verse 23. What sorrow awaits you, teachers of religious law, and you Pharisees, yes. hypocrites, for yes. you are careful to tithe even the tiniest income from now, your head. Listen to this. Just all the hypocrites, they are tithe. You are tithing. Hypocrites, you are tithing. He says you tithe even the little cent from your income. Hypocrites, people who are but you are tithing. 
You see that verse? Jesus is saying, you are tithing, but your hearts are not right. You are tithing, but hey, you are wicked people. You are tithing, but you can even destroy people's lives. But what is he saying there? Is he saying don't tithe? Continue reading. But you ignore the more important aspect yeah. of the law. So, wait, wait. Yo, you are tithing and you are ignoring the more important aspects of the law. But yet you are tithing. What is he saying? Continue. Justice, mercy, and faith. Justice, mercy, and faith. So you are tithing. 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 mercy and what? Justice, Justice and mercy, and what? And faith. And faith. Good. You are tithing. You are wicked. And that's what Jesus was addressing. So what is he saying? Continue. You should tithe. You yes. should tithe what? Yes. Uh -uh. But do not ignore. Uh -uh. You should what? You should tithe. Yes. 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 This is New Testament. When I'm talking about the Old Testament law. This is Jesus speaking. He says you should tithe. About yes. And then what must happen? But do not neglect the more important things. Yes, but do not neglect the more important things, which is what? Mercy, Mercy kindness, faith, faith, love. Do not neglect those things and be a tither who does not have mercy. Jesus did not say, be kind to the people, take care of the poor, and not tithe. He never said that. He said, you should do all of them. As much as you tithe, be merciful to people. As much as you tithe, be kind to people. He never said, stop tithing. And hey, 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 it's an age, man. It's an age. You hear people saying, I would rather take my money and give it to the poor. Jesus never said, don't give to the poor. He said, tithe, yes, and still give to the poor. Tithe, yes, and still be kind to people. Tithe, yes, and still do other things. Go back to Mark 12, verse 15. Mark 12, being a blessing to God. I'll show you what do I mean by that. Mark 12, Mark 12, are you there? Mark 12, Mark 12, 15. Please read. 12, read. Mark 12. Teachers, they said, okay, ah. should we pay them or shouldn't we? Okay, so these are the people who are coming to test Jesus. But we should we pay or should we not? And what is Jesus saying? Jesus saw through their hypocrisy and said. Yeah. So Jesus saw also teaching. I didn't have text. And I didn't have to confirm it so that their conscience can be okay. I went somewhere to preach and this person stood and he said, Muruti, now my pastor knows why I can't tithe. What is it that you know? I don't know, my pastor knows that I'm too much into death. So you know, Muruti Atan Semelar, I know, I am not God after all. After they told me they can't tithe, they feel comfortable in their own situation and they never come out. So Baba, Tabanyaka, confirmation what they must not tithe. So they say, should we, should we pay tax? And what is Jesus saying? Why are you trying to trap me? Eh? Read. Show me a Roman coin. So bring me a and coin. Tell you. South African note. Rent. So what is he saying? Read. Going forward. When they handed it to him, yeah. he asked, whose picture and tackle are stamped on it? Whose picture and tackle are stamped on it? Hey, picture any more than run take your man. Barakia man, read. Caesar. Barakia Caesar. They replied. They replied. Barakia Caesar, which means whoever it is, Barakia Trevor Manuel, Tito Mboweni, whoever at the time, or their president of the country, whoever that is on the note. That person represents the government. Barakia, Kikoya Mandela. I ring him over and tell it. Well then, Jesus said, yeah. give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Pay tax. And then, and give to God what belongs and to God. And give to God to pay your tithe. Like in the Goluki, some of the Just so worry. 
Pay tax and pay tithe. He's not saying paying tax, I better full stop. Why don't we have a problem of paying tax? But we have a problem of giving God what belongs to him. Nobody is questioning why why I don't value added tax. You don't complain. Laura Gali sweet by add other thing. You pay it on a daily basis, but when you have to give to God, you have thousand reasons. And he is saying, give the government what belongs to the government, but don't end there. Give God what belongs to God. Because the truth is, when you give God what belongs to God, you will always have enough to give even to the government. Because seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. If you are still singing, learn to live a life of tithe. Sky melam thawnya lo because it opal la eka opal la lo singi le opal la unye I promise you. Setu na lebatu wa vidi ba decide. Omwara don't understand why you should give God money. Then if you understand that I am also supposed to be a blessing to God, and how do I become a blessing by giving my tithe to Him? Your tithe is not given to a man. Your tithe is given to God. But it is God who decides what is done with the tithe. The Word of God says. All tithe I've given it to the Levites. It's not you giving to them. It's God who's giving to them. One of the problems you don't know what you're talking about. Because even if you stop yours, it is God who says, bring it to me. Bring it to the storehouse so that there may be food in my house. In the book of Leviticus, he says, all tithe I've given it to the Levites. Who is giving to them? It is God. Renovarly diplomatic and very democratic. Richard Tith Reva, like I'm going to get a record and drumming. Richard Tith Yatana Budun Yamur Tiazama. Because Renyaka order in this church. And the finance team must decide what they do with the money. Maravuzuzi. Murutola Jan Tith Tith and Sakamo Budun Oka no Melevelis of Zuganus Moblain. Ugasim Peves, Yamu Blain. Are you? Well, that's their system. We don't use that system. Kilegao won't shower. Tithe belongs to God and God has given it to the Levites. What is my responsibility there? My responsibility is to be faithful in tithing. If Murut is misusing my tithe, that is his business and his God. Marana, I won't, I won't stop being blessed because if you to tithe, I will not be on. I won't stop flourishing in my own life because I've given somebody tithe and I misuse. My responsibility is to keep on being faithful in tithing. But the thing you call the one the tithe is gonna rule me nyako. Hey, tithe is gonna rule me nyako. I'm not live. Gila karaka kolo ba yutsui jenta tani tsan. Gila karaka kolo ba yutsui jenta tani tsan. Lam kushi shams. Kai tani samola ni yaba takes. Rama fomo tsi babu. Anjer pe 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 ma polisa ba yvon. Ba yitswar. But it's a summer on Alamo Watlu, but if you are Molaki, like one of the jacket track, I did at eighteen. I pay college with you again to a hole. I grew an outfit. Eh, dear Samadia Tetin. Yea, la hita, oh, with a two hundred, we can or twenty run tag is a tight thing. Oh, with a three hundred, thirty run tag is a tight thing. With a four, to one more color that they will never forget. They took all the cars and they left mine. It'll go once. My car was the same with those cars, there was no difference. Hekitsa na mo lucky nyaka mo hulu bar bar kolo yiki ama mo pele aka karki aka bar take your car tama imus then aki sabu jisan vum 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 on the way kabakir mura na kiau lebu kiau lebu and I understood or tight it's a defender it can fight for you when I get tight when what I wanna tell you just so kolo yiro be left right and center di lo adi tama ibu uti because tight has a way of living your life. It will live in a right way or in a bad way. So when you tithe, God will protect your house. Let's stop about living under a curse. I'm saying when you tithe, God will do what? Will protect your house. Do not tithe a guardian when everywhere moza my own gra. Hey. What's an apple again? Jacket in a little thousand mava. No fit how and I drop a price. You don't know. How it's an honor of a dollar such a drop of a thousand. Today, you will get 200. Can't you tithe 800 mava? 
tithe will usher you into a life of abundance and supernatural blessings. I will tell you, it's not hard work, Banabe Suman. It's not hard work that makes us get whatever that we are able to get. It's the power and the secret of tithing. I have seen it in my own personal lives and I continue to see it on a daily basis that God can bless you beyond measure. We're not tithing twice. I often trail in Uri. It qualifies we wreck a cut tithe. Young Wagamok. How do you stand and testify and tell people? When I eat your Utopia or Ragaga normal price, Utopia or Tanama will get at the price. Oh, if Takamurillo, dear senior, will get you at the price. Because Ujawa, Nahal, and Mudima Singa, and Yako Fava Tudilo, or Badi Jacob Fen. God will give you something and He would want you to spare something. From the Garden of Eden, He said you can eat everything except. The tree in the middle of the garden, you don't eat. But eat everything. The problem with our minds, when we see everything, we want to consume everything. When he gives you an apple, he says you can eat, but there is a seed that must be planted. When he gives you an orange, eat, but there is a seed. And in most cases, what he says you must not eat is very little. But because... One day I was saying to God, Lord, there are certain things I experience in my personal lives that I would wish everybody can experience. Yeah. But I realized certain things you don't get them by association. You get them by obedience. You get them by obedience. You get them by association if you can't get it by revelation. Not in the area of tithe. Area of tithe works for you and your family and your children. I tell you the truth. There is no tithe here who will ever be stranded. I know you are telling me, Muruti, I kopan. It's a decision that you make. It's a choice that you make. And say, I will bless the Lord even with my tithe. My money must bow to the Lord. It must hear God. Do you know that it is God who gives us jobs? It is the same God who can decide that you are no longer working. So when he gives me a job and I get this, why should I struggle to give it to him? Yeah. favor. Wave your hand and say, I will be a blessing to God. I can't hear you. Say, I will be a blessing to God. Not only in the area of tithing, in the area of prayer as well. Do you know that prayer is not hearing God, but communication? So which means when God wants to do anything, he will talk to somebody who is available in prayer. When God wants to change the situation, he talk to somebody who is available in prayer. So you become a blessing to him because when he wants to use, you are forever available. Communication with God and availability to be used by God. That's a blessing. You can bless the Lord by always talking to him and say, if there's anything you want to say, I'm available. As I preach now, I'm not blessing me, I'm blessing God more than you because God would have wanted to come and preach to you but there is a vessel available and I'm available and I say Lord use me prayer it's one way in which you can be a blessing to God when you pray and have a relationship with God the heavens are smiling make time for prayer make time for prayer in your secret place even people do not have to know when but make time for prayer Pray, seek the face of God. Because in that way, you become a blessing to the Lord. Can we speak and say, Lord, make me a channel of your goodness. Can we say together, Lord, make me a channel of your goodness. Say it again, Lord, make me a channel. Of your, of your goodness. Lord, make me a channel. Lord, make me a channel. You are many, I can't hear you. Say, Lord make, Lord, make me a channel. Of your goodness. Of your goodness. Make, me a river. make me a river. That is flowing with goodness. Flowing with goodness. And, mercy. and mercy. Not a dam. In Jesus, name. in Jesus name whatever you put in my hands, put in my hands 
will be a blessing to people even around me. Nagia Rapela, Father, we thank you. This year, you want to make us blessings. You are turning us into blessings. We will be a blessing at home. We will be a blessing in your house. We will be a blessing even to our enemies. We will be a blessing even at work. We will be a blessing everywhere we find ourselves. And Father, we pray that in Jesus' name, whatever you will lay in our hands, we will not just keep it to ourselves and forget to be a blessing to other people around us. We want to be a blessing even to our neighbors in the name of Jesus. How can they sleep without food when we have more than enough and even be able to throw away? How can they walk around naked when we have got more than enough to offer to them to wear? In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray. Lord, make me a blessing. Let me be a channel. Let me be a channel. In the name of Jesus. Let's stand on our feet, all of us. All of us. All of us are on our feet. All of us are standing in the presence of the Lord. All of us. All of us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. After being blessed, and we say this, oh, use me, Lord. Oh, use me now, my Savior. I come to use me now. Oh, you. Break my will, oh God. And your will prevail, I come. Oh, and break me now. Oh, break. Break me now. I come. I come. Um, to and yield me now, oh, me now, mercy, here we are. Um, to yield me now, oh. The Spirit of the Lord keeps on whispering that I want to bless that you may be a blessing. I want to bless that you may be. I want to bless that you may be. I don't want to bless that you may be proud. I don't want to bless that you may just have ownership. I don't want to bless that you may oppress others. But I want to bless that you may become a blessing everywhere you go. He says to Abraham, I want to bless you. And everywhere you go, you will be a blessing. 
Even those that bless you will definitely be blessed in return. And them that curse you will be cursed in return because you are a blessing. And I know, I know that we are standing here. Some of us, certain things could have happened long time ago. But, but we, our attitudes and our hearts were not right with God. The way we were thinking of a blessing was wrong. Even the things we were praying for, the attitude was just not right because really it was about us and us benefiting and not anybody else. May the Lord open our eyes that we may begin to see that one who is in need. Begin to see that one who needs our help. Begin to see that family that we might need to help. So that you can open the blockage of your breakthroughs and your blessings. Some of these things are blocked because we have taken ourselves. Everybody else. And the Lord is saying, I want to bless that you may be. I want to bless that you may be. I want to open this thing so that you can be a channel. I want to do it so that you can become that blessing. I want to bless you. You can become. There are people here who have got great business ideas. And the Lord is saying, they are failure because it's all about you. It's about you. Change your mind. Change your attitude. Change your prayer. Let it be about God and about glorifying him and about helping people around you. And you are able to say, Lord, if you are able to help me in this, I will be a blessing to you. I will be a blessing to my family. I will be a blessing to my neighbor. I will be a blessing to you. I will be a blessing to my family. I will be a blessing to my neighbor. I will be a blessing to you. I will be a blessing to my family. I will be a blessing to my neighbor I will be a blessing to you and I will be a blessing to my family and to my neighbors if you release it for me I will be a blessing woe unto those that when they were seeking help from God they stood and said Lord if you give me a job I will be faithful if you give me an increase I will be faithful if you give me money, I will be faithful. And God did all of that, still we vanished. We are suddenly reasoning with him. And the Lord is calling us back and say, I'm getting ready to do it. But release your heart. Release your heart. Let me help you do this thing. I'm going to bless you until you are exceedingly blessed. But not for you. But these blessings are for people around you. And those that know you. And your family. And for God himself. I'm praying. I'm praying. You're welcome to come to the fourth when you say, Lord, I'm the one. Whether I rebuked you, whether I encouraged you, and you feel, I want to go to the altar. I'm the one. I suspect you chose me out of my whole family that I may be the one. No matter how difficult it may be, help me to be a channel because I know I will never run dry. Some of them, you bless them today. They speak bad about you tomorrow and you get discouraged and say, Lord, I thought I was doing what was right. And the Lord is saying, be encouraged. There are people here today, you have done well to people. Instead of appreciating, they still complain. To a point where you feel you can't do anything for them anymore. Remember, you are not the owner of the blessing. You are a channel of the blessing. Let the owner of the blessing decide continue to be that one continue to be that blessing in the spirit I see something like a big tank it's like a big tank that I see that has been sealed for ages and this tank speaks of the outpouring of the overflow of the rain of the goodness of God and one of the things that blocked it, that made it to be sealed like that, is because our attitude was not right towards a blessing. And the Lord saying, I'm breaking this pot that is above your head, and I'm going to cause rain to fall on you. 
until you are exceedingly blessed, but not for you, for people around you, for people around you, for people around you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is saying, I'm establishing you. Oh, I'm establishing you. I'm establishing you. Agana. So. Heavenly Father, we are standing before you. We are genuine about this. We ask you today to forgive us for not seeing your blessing in the light of your revelation. We know that, Lord, when you blessed Joseph, it was for the whole of Egypt and the whole of Israel. May we be the Josephs of our generation that will be blessed with wisdom and knowledge, not just for us to be prime ministers, but for us to save nations from hunger. Let it spread down to our brothers who rejected us. Let them come and drink from this well. In Jesus' name, all of us that are standing in front, I'm urging you to pray to God and ask him, make him a promise that, Lord, bless me, that I may be a blessing. I really want to, I don't want to forget this year. I don't want to forget who I am. Even when things are going well, I don't want to forget. I don't want to regress and act as if I do not know. But God make me a blessing. I can't spend everything on me and forget my family and forget my friends and forget my neighbors and forget your house and forget my God, even you. In Jesus' name. I, 
I hear the Lord saying in this season he is going to open a blessing of jobs. A blessing of jobs is coming. It's upon us already. Please hear me. I'm a person who believes that people must create things. But God is saying I'm also releasing a blessing of jobs. Many people will get jobs this month. Many people will get their jobs. And Father, we receive it. We receive it. We agree with it. And we stand with it. In the name of Jesus. But God is also saying, I'm going to elevate a few people in your midst. I'll take them to higher levels. And when I take them to higher levels, it's for my glory. It's not for anybody's glory. I'm doing it for my own glory. May you be the one that God is lifting for his own glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we receive it. We believe it. And Lord, we believe it that you are taking us to another level. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we bless your name. We give a praise. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Clap hands for yourself. God bless you. Continue playing. Oh, Kula. Kula O Puzayo Kula Mazi Aromi Parateka O Puzayo Kula Mazi O Puzayo Kula Mazi You are here today. You are not born again. You cannot be a blessing when you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior. This one is very important. It's important that we stand on our feet, all of us. It's important. So please stand. Uh, we can't leave anyone. You can't be a blessing. There is no miracle that is bigger and better than knowing Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. In fact, there is no blessing that is better than that. The rest of the things are just an additional. But the bigger miracle is to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. He died for us and he resurrected. And the Bible says he seated at the right hand of the Father. The reason why he died, it was for you and me that we may be saved. If we believe in him, we shall be saved. I want to usher you to the Lord. You are there, you say, Mrut, I want to be born again. I want to receive him as my Lord. If you are there, lift your hand. I want to pray for you. Lift your hand. Say, I want to receive him. Lift your hand. I want to pray for you. Come, my sister. Come. Clap for him. Clap. I'm waiting for you as well. Don't make a mistake. We don't join church. We come to Jesus, then we join church. So we are calling you to Jesus first before we call you to church. It's not about our church. This church cannot take you to heaven. We are calling you to Jesus, the master of our life, the author and the finisher of our faith. Come to him and accept him. But clap hands for them. They are coming. Clap hands for them. They are coming. The devil is a lie. He won't keep you down. Come on, clap hands, strong hands, because somebody there at the back must come to Jesus, and Jesus is calling you. Keep on coming. Don't be afraid. Come. We are waiting for you, my brother. We are waiting for you, my sister. Come. The Lord is calling. Oh, they are coming. Clap for them. Come on, clap for them. Drum, drum, drum. People are coming to the Lord. There is no miracle bigger and better than this, and this needs to be celebrated. When people are coming to the Lord, 
If you are still there, I want to give you another chance. We don't come here in Yaka Mirapel, God bless you. We come here in Yaka Jesu. We are here for Jesus, not for prayers. We are here to accept Him as our Lord and Savior, not just for prayers. There are many people who come and say, Muruti, just pray for me. I want this and that and that. If you are not born again, you are starting on a wrong note. We start with Jesus. We accept Him first as our Lord and Savior and everything else will be added unto us. So I'm calling you to the source of everything that you need. I'm calling you to the Savior, the Redeemer of our lives. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ah. Yes. Lift your hands in the presence of the Lord. Please say this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I come before you as I am. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of all my sins. I am a sinner. And I'm coming to you asking for forgiveness. Touch my life today. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I'm a child of God. I am born again. My sins are washed away. In Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus. Wash me clean. In Jesus' name. Amen. Manavesu, you are born again. You are children of God. Yes. The word of the Lord says you are now called children of God. And your names are written in the book of life. You are born again. It's a big thing. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the kingdom of God. You have come to the kingdom of God. Don't take it light. You are born again. And this year, you are not going back. None of you is going back. After you are saved like this, you are continuing to serve God, continue to love God. You will commit even to the coming of to church because you are not going back. Amen. That devil is a liar. You are not going back. Amen. You are born again. You are born again. You are born again. And it's for life. I'm going to ask Pastor Veli to help you. Now, here is a request that I have. Tomorrow is Monday, so tomorrow on Monday, the people who got saved last week will come together with you tomorrow. And there will be somebody teaching you here um, from at least half past five. Uh, don't take long, just one hour. You come here, then you'll get a teaching here. Those who got saved last week, we must not lose any soul this year to the devil, not even one. Can we please make sure that those souls are preserved? And Thank you so much. Follow Pastor Veli, that side. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. On that same note, on Thursday, we are going to have a day where all the people, all people who are saying, I've been coming to church, I'm not a member, I may want to be a member, or I may want to know more. Thursday is your day, this week. When we had a day, the first Sunday of the year, if not second Sunday, many people were saying, I'm waiting for a class, I'm waiting for a class. Next week, this week, Thursday, is the day where all of you want to be the member of the church, even if you don't want to be the member, but you are new so that we get to know you, please just come so that we can have a conversation and the Lord will bless you. So it will take place at 6. It will be from 6 to 7 o'clock. Then it will be done. Amen. Yeah, before I sit down, let us collect the offering. Um, offering basket. Worship team, do you mind coming back? Um, there are two 